welcome to my channel. My name is Marlena and on this channel we are talking about femininity, sophistication and about luxury also. So I am today doing another basic luxury review and this time it is about a quite well-known belt, the Gucci GD Marmont reversible belt. So I've already made a belt review, it was about the Ferragamo reversible belt and now I have another belt since Christmas <laughs> and it is a reversible belt also, but it is wider and it's more flamboyant and of course a bit more flashy. So I will now unpack it together with you and um, show you how it looks like and also tell you the advantages and disadvantages of this belt. So I have it here in this beautiful box and I will open it now together with you to reveal what is inside. So here it is. This is the belt in a nice dust bag. So let's take it out of the dust bag. Here it is and you see that I have it on the black side but you also see that there is another side. This side is called GG Supreme Canvas and this side is just black leather. Let's start with the black leather side. I will come a little bit nearer so that you can see the details. So the black leather side is actually the back side. That's why you see the stamp here. But the stamp is not visible because if it's closed then the strap is hiding this stamp. But let's close it so that you see how it actually looks like. So we will close it on the last hole here. Third one. There are three holes automatically that come with the belt. But of course you can make more holes. I think that I will make more holes so that I can also wear it in the waist because I actually intended to wear this belt on the hips as it is written on the website of Gucci that it is a belt intended to be worn on the hips. I don't think that it is very suitable to be worn on the hips unless you are wearing a very high-waisted trousers. I will show you later because it is very straight and wide but let's look at the details so we have here the leather side the black leather side and it is of course real leather and the buckle it's aged gold toned and it's the double g buckle the new version of it that is seen quite often also on the handbags of gucci it is a little bit flashy but it's not too flashy when you wear it like this i think it looks nice and it gives the belt a nice a fashionable look. So the buckle is very very high quality. So when you look closer you will see that it's really heavy and it's made very nicely. And also the nice reversible feature of the buckle I will show you now because this belt is reversible in a different way than the Ferragamo reversible belt that I showed you. It's a different technology, <laughs> so to say. So I, if you would like to wear the belt on the other side, you just need to pull a little bit. And you see, if I pull, the, it opens a little bit and then you just flip it. And it's really stable. So I, I just reversed it like this. Super easy. And then you just take off this small part, which is unfortunately only there in the dark color, not in the canvas, which I really don't really understand because I would put two kinds of those, one in black and one in the canvas, but it's only there in the black color. So you will have to combine it like this. I put it on top. And I will close the belt for you again so that you see how it looks like in total. So here we have it 
Uh, it's very nice. I think I really, really like this pattern. I mean, of course, it's very visible that it's a Gucci belt, but it's also visible due to the buckle <laughs> that is very known. But I mean, why not? It is a special style. It's, it's more a flamboyant kind of style. And I think it's a beautiful pattern where the belt as a statement piece, I think that looks very nice. So now I will talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of this specific belt. The advantages are of course that it's a statement piece and it's a very known statement piece. So if you like something that stands out, that is well known and visible and you like the design of Gucci, then this is the right belt for you. Also, if you want to make an outfit more a pure more flamboyant, more modern, then this is the right belt because it's not as minimal and as classic as the Salvatore Ferragamo reversible belt. Also because of the width, this one is three centimeters. Uh, so it is a bigger piece. You have to be aware of the fact that it is a statement piece, I would say. Another advantage is of course, you have those two sides, you can wear it as a statement piece and with this very known and classic Gucci pattern or you can just reverse it in a very quick way, in a really easy way, which is also an advantage, just by flipping the buckle and then you have the other side, which is a more versatile side even because it's classic black. When you wear it on this side, it will be a little bit more decent but still you will have the buckle that is a statement. But it's, I think it, it's different. It's, it's really a different look. So you will have one belt, but with two very different looks and easy to switch. So this is an advantage, of course. Um, now I will also talk about the disadvantages because this belt is not perfect. I think that the Salvatore Ferragamo reversible belt is better, it has less disadvantages I would say that's better said and I will tell you why so I was already wearing this belt with pants and I was trying to wear it as belt on my hips and my trousers or my jeans are quite different in the waist so I have one that is a little bit lower low waist and I have one that is high waist jeans and now I am wearing a quite high waisted jeans. I will show you later. I had a problem with the size, with the length, because I first had this belt in the longer size. So I will tell you what length this is actually. So this is an 85 and I am 1 meter 75. So before I had it in 90 and I found it too long. So I changed it for the 85. I thought that's better because I'm actually, my pants are more high-waisted. But then when I was wearing the little bit lower or medium uh, waist pants, that was really, with this one, it's a little bit short. I really have to wear it on the last hole like this. And you see, yeah, it's okay, but it doesn't look so nice. I think when the strap is just that short and you're really wearing it on the last hole. But as I said, the other size was too big. If you are someone who is not always wearing the same waist high in your pants or skirts, that might be a problem with the length. Or you buy a bigger or a longer one and you just uh, add more of the holes. That's also possible, of course. Now I have this shorter one and I was also trying to wear it in the waist. And the disadvantage is that if you have it for the hips, it will be too long for the waist. But I realized that this kind of belt, because of its width, three centimeters, and because it is cut in a very straight way. So when you see, it is cut in a straight way. And I think that this kind of belt is actually better as a waist belt. I will show you why in the end of the video because I will be wearing it with a jeans that is high-waisted but not in the waist and you will see that this back part is always bending to the outside and 
there is a change of shape and you can also see it here and this just happens when you're wearing it with the pants on the hip or lower on the hip. I think in order to make this not happen the belt would have to be cut in a half round shape and I also have belts like this and then it works. So I think this is I don't really understand why it is written on the website that this belt is intended to be worn in the hips because I don't think that the model is very suitable to be worn on the hips. In contrast, it is quite good to be worn as a waist belt because, as I said, it's cut straight and it's rather broad. You also have a broader or a slimmer version of this belt. You have just to decide what you prefer. Maybe the slimmer version is better as a hip belt, but I think this one is definitely better to be worn very high on the hips or in the waist. Those were my pros and cons. Tell me what your pros and cons are if you have this same belt and also tell me if you would like to have it, if you would like to purchase it, if you really like the model and the design. And if this video was helpful for you, then give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. And now I will show you how you can wear it and how it looks like when it's worn as a belt on the hips with jeans or trousers. So here you see the belt with the black side. So it looks really classic and a little bit more understated. And now I will show you how quickly you can change the sides of the belt. So I'm basically doing it together with you and you see <laughs> it's just a few seconds and it is already changed. So now I am wearing it with the canvas side. And uh, you see it looks a bit more modern, a little bit more as a statement piece. It's more visible like this, of course, depending on what you are wearing. And here you see where my belly button is. So it is not super high, but it is also not very low. And here in the back you already see, although it's, it's a quite high-waisted jeans, still you see how the belt is not really aligned with my back and the more you wear the belt on the hips the worse this gets but it's still a gorgeous belt 